So you want to know how to make a T? I, I just want to get away from TP fire because there's so many others, and it that are better. I, it, no, it all depends on. It depends on. It depends. So you want to see how to make the most reliably lighting fire for a survival situation easy it all comes down to organization and the organization of our materials uh, we want to find dry stuff and um, we want to find stuff that varies in sizes so that we can start with a little flame and then light the bigger stuff on stuff on fire that's kind of why a TP fire shines so that answer your question follow me oh hey I didn't see you there so <laughs> I we don't want to pick up sticks off the ground because they've had the ability uh, to pick up water and moisture so we want to find stuff uh, that doesn't have that because it's going to help us in lighting a fire this is a pretty good example of stuff that has been as it's fallen from the trees uh, as trees grow uh, they shed their lower branches because they don't need them they're not picking up as much sun as the top branches so when those fall some are going to fall on the ground and then some of that is going to be stuck up off the ground you see here we have some of that but this is still a little bit wet too. I don't really want to be, this isn't ideal. How do I know it's a little wet? Because I'm listening to the sound. There's a little bit of a snap in that, but we're looking for something that's gonna like crack almost. So let's find that. We'll keep looking. So here's some more sticks that aren't in contact with the ground. And these are a little bit older. And we hear that. These are probably too far gone because they've started to kind of rot but they'll still they'll still burn but the thing that we're listening for is this snap if we hear that it's probably a good candidate to burn so we found the sticks that we want uh, that are up off the ground and they make a nice snap when we break them so we know they're good and dry uh, so we're going to take them back to the fire so then we can organize them and go from there it's easier to take a big stick than it is to take lots of little sticks. So, look at that. Oh, and we got some, some tinder material too, maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, send that to me. I need to make a profile picture. Yeah, that got right in my... So, in order to light stuff on fire, we need to have a small... Uh, fibrous material to first catch the flame. Of course if we try to light a big log on fire we need more activation energy and since for this we're only using one match we gotta gotta we gotta gotta do it perfectly. So this cedar tree is a resource for getting that first tinder bundle fibrous material. You see how the outer bark just peels off and then we can scrape the inner bark and make by putting it together and rubbing it back and forth Look at all that fibrous material that we, we're creating. We keep doing that, and eventually we'll have a softball size of tinder bundle, and then we'll be ready to build the TP structure. So you had asked how to start a fire uh, with just one match, and I've kind of got some of the pieces here. Of course, if this was a real sur survival situation, we would have hopefully stacked up a lot of this and had e even some reserves. But um, for this is what we're doing. We first want to organize our sticks. First, we have our smallest sticks, our fibrous material. This is that cedar bark, uh, and this is a bird's nest actually that we found along the course of our travels. Um, and then we have some other sticks. So like the pencil lead size sticks is the smallest that we have, then a little bit larger. We have the pencil size sticks, and then we get to the pinky size sticks. Uh, and then from there we go to the thumb size sticks and that might be something like this and then from there we can go to like the wrist size or the okay size oh, I'll call you looking size sticks and that uh, means our fire is big enough that we could just throw like pretty much logs on there but we can't go to lighten the logs without getting this stuff first so we have our tinder bundle in the middle then our pencil lead size sticks and they come like this uh, leaving a way for me to insert uh, the match through the front here and we get our TP structure because the as the fire burns, it's gonna pull air in from the outside and push the heat up through the middle, making convection. Uh, then our larger sticks uh, go on the outside there in that TP structure. And then we have our uh, finger sized sticks. They can go on the outside. And then sometimes I like to have a, a really small uh, handful of sticks right here so that after I light the tinder muddle, I can put my hand, uh, put those sticks right there and help it uh, go along as well. Then we have our largest size sticks that go on, on the top. Uh, and of course, 
All depends on how many materials you have. But now, we spent a lot of time building that and hopefully it works because I have a, oh look, there's some more. Gas station pack of lighter, or of matches. Or do I? Got our gas station matches and I'm gonna try to do this the most efficiently that I can. Uh, and what I like to do with these, so you take one and then you press it onto here using the back of the match. And then when I pull it out, it, it should light, but I'm gonna hold the uh, flame down so that the match stick catches on fire, uh, extending our flame a little bit. Let's see how this works. We only got one chance. Come on, buddy. There we go. Just protecting the flame a little bit. On fire. Now I can blow on it just a little bit. Get that tinder bundle to go. And there's our fire. So this started off as a TP fire and I like TP fires because it has uh, a natural uh, principle of hot air rises, right? So if you look at a hot air balloon, it takes that fire, heats up the air, lifts it into the sky. This is doing the same thing, uh, except our fire down below using convection is rising up through the fire structure, lighting all these sticks on fire. At the same time, it's pulling air from the outside and pushing it out kind of like a chimney. That's one of the reasons why we like the TP fire so much.